busy day. Well, I tell you, every once in a while I get a little tired of fighting everyone else's battles. That's what happens when two environmental lawyers take on the corporate guys. How's your brother? Very nervous. His first big trial. But I told him, we're going to build our case, we're going to present it, we're going to win. How was your day? Well, you know, every once in a while I get tired of fighting everyone else's battles. Well, you expect too much. Barb waited up. It's her first day at grown-up school tomorrow. Yeah, she wanted to show you her new outfit. I told her that you'd see it in the morning. Is it tomorrow? Yeah. <sighs> you know, like yesterday, she was just learning how to walk. Kind of makes you think. <laughs> oh, no. Not this again. Well, would it really be so terrible to have another one? I never said it would be terrible. Oh, come on. How would we ever fit another kid into our lives? You remember how happy we were when Barbara was born? Yeah, but that was different. I was in school. I wasn't working. That'd be good for us. Just think about it, okay? I'll be right outside when the bell rings. I think you could get french fries in the cafeteria every day. Do you think that's true? I made you a peanut butter and banana sandwich. And you know what else? I give you a special outfit for you with your name on it. Are you going to be OK? I'll be fine, Mom. Hey, can I get a kiss? I know, but I didn't think you were listening. You know what your problem is? You think too much. How much bleeding this time? Quite a bit. That's why I came right in. Yeah, this is the second episode. Well, you had a normal pregnancy with Barbara. You've been staying off your feet since the last visit, right? If anything, she's been busier than ever. I keep telling her to slow down, but she won't listen to me. Jenny, we talked about this. Placenta previa, that can be a dangerous situation. You never told me you said it was dangerous. I told you. No, you never said dangerous. That's why she has to have a cesarean. Women have cesareans all the time. I've delivered dozens of babies with this condition without a hitch. So there's nothing to worry about. Relax. It's the 90s. If this were 100 years ago, well, you'd have to worry. I'm not worried. What about Charlie? The seventh. How about the seventh? No, I can't do it on the seventh. I'm in court that day. Jeff. Jeff is How about the eighth? Deposition. What about Alexander? No. Too long. How about the ninth? Ninth. Or in that case, it's a girl. No, it won't work. I've got uh, a hairy skin. Honey, we're having a baby here. And maybe you could work around me instead of the other way around. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. Right. You want to do it on the night? We'll do it on the night. I got it! Ethan! Lemon, Ethan, if it's a boy, Hannah, if it's a girl. Ethan? I like that. Hannah's good, too. Is that 
with you when you were a baby. That's me. Who's that? That's my mother. Don't you miss her, your mama? All the time. I wish she were here right now. Mommy, after the new baby comes, will everything be the same? Are you worried that your mom won't have time for you? Come here. Now that Beth has a new baby sister, is anything different? When we get tired of playing with Michelle, now we play with a baby. And do you think that Beth's mom loves Beth any less just because she has two children instead of one? No. You see? You have nothing to worry about. I will always be your mother, and you will always be my daughter. And we'll still play soccer, go bike riding, and take walks, and go for Rocky Road ice cream. Just the two of us. I promise. Baby's in a good position. Heads down. Let me, let me get some suction. There. Suction? Okay. Blood pressure's good? It's good. Pulse is normal? Yeah, both are normal. All right. Here. Get that, would you? All right, retractors. Thank you. Clamp. Boy, baby's almost here. So you guys uh, already have a daughter. Seems to me that what you need is a son, am I right? <laughs> Congratulations. It's a boy. <laughs> He's beautiful, huh? Congratulations. Good cry. Good color. All right, parts, nothing extra. Dad, you want to cut the cord? Wouldn't miss it. All right. That's all right. Good. All right. Good work. Okay. All right. So we're up. Be right back. Don't go away. Right this way, Mr. Bird. We got a lot of bleeding here. Let's give her 10 units of oxytocin. Are the uterine arteries okay? They're fine. Is the oxytocin in? It's in. Spinal fluid's wide open. We got a ton of blood here. Better start a second line. All right, Jack. Get another unit in here. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, 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 well, congratulations. Thank you, you too. Everything okay with Jenny? Yeah, yeah, made it through with flying colors. Good, good. Yeah, you did pretty good, buddy. That's your turn, Mitch. Please, first find a nice girl and marry her. <laughs> I don't want to see you at the office anytime soon. Billings are up, I can handle everything. See, Dad? Pays to have your brother as a partner. <laughs> so, what do you think of your little brother so far? He's so big. I can't believe he was in Mom's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> How's her pressure? Pressure is fine, but her pulse is 120. She's compensating for the blood loss. Need a couple units of packed cells. What the hell is going on here? I'm looking at my knees in blood. Everything okay? She hemorrhaged a bit, but we just about got under control. They're all out there trying to figure out which side of the family he takes after. You okay? Yeah. What's her status now? Pulse is normal. Pressure's 120 over 60. She's rock steady. I haven't seen that much blood in a long time. You okay? Hi, Mom. <laughs> How you feeling? Thirsty. Sorry, honey. Nothing to eat or drink for 24 hours. But the nurse said you could have these. Thirsty. I can see where this is headed. Breakfast in bed for the next six months. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Proud of you. Boy, that anesthesia really knocked you for a loop, didn't it? <laughs> it's like
let the poor girl get some rest. She's exhausted. Well, Fine. If there's anything I can do. She can stay as long as she likes. When are you coming home? Come on, you give mommy a kiss. She's got to get some sleep. Now, you go home with Grandma and Grandpa. I'll pick you up later, OK? OK. okay. Okay. What is it? Okay, God. Okay, God. Jenny, what's wrong? Help me. What, baby? What's wrong? I need a doctor in here. Now. What is it? Your wife has had a large stroke involving the parietal as well as the frontal and temporal lobes. She's paralyzed on her right side. She has a, a left-sided gaze preference and a right-sided neglect.